Hey, so, so blessed. We're going to do this, believe it or not. You see who I have here with me. It ain't time for you to say nothing yet. Oh, I don't know how this goes, y'all. I'm just serious because, you know, we just start duking it out trying to get him to sit here to do this. Okay, he going to answer first. I'm going to answer second on all the questions. Lord, help us do this. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to ask the questions and then I'll make a separate video of my answers. Number one, yes, what can. annoys you about your mate? What annoys you about your mate? So what do I do to annoy you? Well, what annoys me about her is like she always have an opinion I want tell me how to do things. And she wants things go her way. So, at times she kind of get me hungry. So I just don't say nothing and just walk out of the room. And what annoys me? Is that he won't open up. We don't talk much. And he expects me to just know what's bugging him. And I don't. And... It annoys me that, I guess, that we don't really conversate much. Um. Like, what do we like about each other? Okay. It impresses me about my mate. I do things I like how she has sometimes. But most of what depressing me is when I come in and I say hi and I was going to say uh, softly hi and don't say well uh like don't just like she don't happy to see me come home so that's what oppresses me most of the time not about oppress her. you what impresses yeah, you yeah that's what impresses what it, me what what do you like about me that's what impresses well you. the like about it I really like how she carry herself real nice beautiful and now uh, she always leave the house looking real nice she don't really leave the house looking like a bum but she always <laughs> look good that's what oppresses me a lot they want to oppress him I guess I oppress him so much <laughs> um what impresses me what impressed me then what still impresses me now is his physical strength he's stronger than anybody I know um his physical strength his endurance he can literally work from sun up to sundown and not complain, rarely needs a break. So his physical strength really still impresses me. He's 52? 51. 51, I'm sorry, who's? 51, but he still has the physical strength and the physical physique of any 25-year-old man, 24, I mean seriously. Still have a sound drum, stomach, the pecs, the arms. So his physical strength. Okay, we've got to move on. Number three. Number three. What do you allow your mate to get away with that you probably wouldn't if you didn't love him or her so much? What do you let me get away with that you wouldn't if you didn't love me so much? Well, I let you get away with a lot of things. It's just like, so now my house, I said, baby, let's do this. And she just, no. That's not the opinion. Just like, uh, I really love her a lot, so I really let you just go by with what she want to do and don't try to talk her out of it and just let you do her own thing. That's what most, most couple will do just to keep peace. So that's what I love about her money, money. Well, what I let him get away with that I know, if I didn't love him, I wouldn't let him get away with, is, <laughs> is I guess, um, the way he handled finances. If, if I didn't love him, that jiggle would have to go. Next question. Number four. Do you believe that there's a difference between loving your mate and being 
game log with your mate? Do you believe there's a difference between... Yes, the there's a difference. And there's a difference in loving your mate. As what the Bible said, when you all join together, you all become one flesh. So that means you must love your mate no care what. And what most uh, break up most couples is because the mate do not love the person. They won't go like the person. But I love my mate. So that's why. And yes, I believe there's a difference between loving and in love. To me, to me, loving someone is can be just unconditional. It's like no matter what they do, no matter what they say, you still love them. But being in love, to me, it's sort of like a natural high. It's like that person makes you smile, that person makes you grin, that person makes your heart pit or patter when they're in your presence. They're always on your mind when they're when you're not around. You think of them, you you buy things and pick up things for them just for no reason because you're just infatuated. It's like an infatuation. You're it's 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 still love but it's it's to me it's like taking to the next level to almost like a euphoria. If you think there's a difference between loving someone and being in love with someone, tell me what is the difference? Number five, mean? would you lay down your life for your mate? And do you think that your mate would lay down his or her life for you? Hey, let's not do a preaching sermon. But would you lay down your life for me and do you think I would lay down my life for you? Well, I'll, I'll do everything for not really to lay down my life, but if I can do anything to save my mate and to, let's say, like, she needs something to save her life, I'll, lay, I'll do it to, like, to save her life. And do you think I would lay down my life for you? Um... I can answer that one. <laughs> please, please don't answer that one. I wouldn't lay down my life. I I agree with him. I would do everything I could to help save him. But I'm not Jesus. I I'm not God. I can't. I wouldn't lay down my life for anybody. I would I would die trying to help my family. I would. I would. I would. Just trying to help, you know, we're going to all die together, I guess. <laughs> but to just say, oh, take me, not him, no, no, no. I wouldn't lay down my life. And I really seriously don't think he would lay down his life for me. Um, I just, I just don't think so. Number six. Would you remain with your mate if you could never have sexual intercourse or make love ever again. Let me repeat that one. <laughs> Would you remain with your mate if you could never again enjoy sexual intercourse? And I kind of refrain from saying making love because there are so many ways to make love without sexual intercourse. So I'm specifically asking if you could no longer have sexual intercourse. You can never, if you no longer have sexual intercourse. I will stay with my mate. Even if I don't cannot tell if that if she really is not really up to our sister in intercourse again, I will stay with my mate. I, I, I think I would too. I'm sorry. Are you, if you, were you yeah. stuck? You can go ahead and finish. I, w 